Before we jump in with a topic, let's define some terms to make sure we're all on the same page. Structure, point of view, and perspective. Structure is an organizing principle that, once set, will help you develop and write your stories. Structures can be linear or nonlinear, simple, complex, drifting, or charging in and out of time and place, featuring any number of perspectives and points of view. Different stories lend themselves to different structures. There's no right or wrong decision. The only mistake you can make is having no structure at all. And trust me, I know well the downside of deciding structure doesn't matter. The first novel I wrote, it was called Exposed. It suffered from a lack of this architecture. Exposed was a mystery featuring a private eye named Tony Barnes. I love Tony. I still do. I relish telling Tony's story, all of it, not only what pertained to the mystery, but a fair amount about his family, too. Instead of a tightly woven plot, I'd created a rambling narrative about a fictional character. There was no structure, just a muddled heap of words on the page. It's no surprise that book didn't sell. Choose a compelling structure, and your stories will enjoy a happier fate. Point of view refers to the voice. Are you telling it in first person, second person, third, and so on? Some authors mix voice, although that can be quite confusing, and you need to be careful about that. We'll touch on that again in a moment. And then finally, perspective asks you to consider whose story is being told.